Well, actually, this demonstration was, um, if you look at this, uh, the, the last year, it was, I think it was the only really European demonstration that has been organized. And it was so important to bring people together with a collective and European uh, objective. That was so important and so easily recognized because uh, in a certain way, sometimes we take it too much theoretical, but if you um, discuss about Europe in working places, it's something that everyone, I mean, uh, lives on, they, on their own experience every day, because if you look at the way as company has organized, like they are all, most of all organizing multinational, every workers in Europe have on their own life the experience of um, um, of decisions that have been taken in headquarters and reflect overall Europe with sometimes, you know, um, the restructuring uh, processes that uh, put in competition workers all around Europe and all around the world. That means, and in a certain way, this is the translation of the political uh, the political side of this matter. And so it was uh, for us uh, very important to be there because it was in a certain way tackling the idea of an authoritarian center of Europe that has to be changed. And mm -hmm. that's why we decide to be there. <laughs> Be, I don't think they were there, and actually it's something that we should uh, uh, feel everyone, I mean everyone, and I'm ref, I referring to um, trade unions, of course, inside the European Confederation, the responsibility to build an effective uh, European uh, trade union confederation, because I have to say that uh, uh, it's a pity, but until now they didn't have uh, such a strong role in, uh, in the um, also because it's it's difficult, I know it's difficult to take together different traditions, different traditions in Europe, the different uh, uh, way of seeing things, but uh, actually have to find a way to be more effective, to be more recognizable outside our discussion, our internal discussion, because I think we spend too much time to discuss internally and we have to bring trade unions in the in the in squares and we have to open to movements and to discuss with other subjects. We have to build coalition because otherwise we will be not sufficient alone to to achieve any to achieve any any result, I think. Uh, well, actually, it's um, that that was uh, I think a very important uh, how to say intuition that we had, uh, and it goes beyond what I was saying. The fact that uh, you have the duty and the responsibility now to open the union, the trade unions, because there is a point of democracy, and in, when I say democracy, I intend the fact that if you want to re really represent the Today, world of work, you have to start from the fact that a lot of workers are not more represented by trade unions because they are not able to organize them, because they are not more covered by collective agreements. And for doing that, in a certain way, you have to unionize back the society. And to do that, you have to uh, make alliance. This is a long time process. <laughs> that means that if you ask me what are the results until now, I could say, uh, in a very recognizable way, it's a process that has been a little bit frozen uh, in the relation with other actors, but it has, on the other side, produced some results. Some, our confederation now is proposing a new chart of labor that have the will to uh, give uh, an answer to the uh, in a universality way. That means that they propose a law, a popular initiative of law that they have been uh, they have uh, presented in the European Parliament and they, we are now collecting signatures in Italy in order to promote in, uh, in our Parliament. So it has changed something, but it's a long time process because you cannot ask to some subjects to completely, you know, um, um, how to say, skip the, their own identity and start to work in a, in a different way. And so I think that we could judge it in, uh, in, uh, in a long time. Maybe in 10 years, the name would be no social coalition. I will call it itself uh, uh, somewhere else. It will have uh, another name. But the point is that I think that the, um, the potential of this idea still remain. And France, for example, for instance, is something that give us the, the, um, the, the, the real uh, idea of what the practice should be. So how to put together students, movement, trade unions to open the society to, to a new process.